this daughter of my son on the path she is now about to take. Thy blessing upon us. Look down, Hotoke-sama. Give this daughter of mine thy protection. Oh, Hotoke-sama, I do nothing which will bring dishonor to my departed father's honorable name. Make it possible for me to be of assistance to my illustrious family from now on, even though I'm only a woman. Mr. Goro and Madam Goro, that your most honorable augustness has arrived. <laughs> Do not weep, Mama Say. But you are so young, and never have you been away from home before. Consider, Mama Sen. Soon I shall be very great geisha. And then you and the august grandfather and the little brother will have much money. This is no place for the daughter of my son, the daughter of a noble samurai. I should never have consented to your coming here. But we must live. And I'm the only one who can work and help. Your father died with honor when he could no longer live with honor. Is it then so shameful to make people happy? To sing for them? To make music and dance? And I may make a fine marriage. Then I can buy you many gifts. So this is Chocho-san. Oh, what distinction. What eyes. What teeth. And uh, you speak also the English? Yes, I learned from visiting scholars. She teach me very high-class Brooklyn accent. And no man will be permitted to see her alone? No man. Unless, of course, it is to arrange an advantageous marriage for her. the little prayer I taught you. Yes, Mama Sen. young lady? Chocho-san, privileged to present the noble Mr. Yamadori, a gentleman of excessive culture. She is not a joyful one. She is high-born and feels strange in this place. But when she's made ready as a geisha, she will be more gay. Go now, my child. Your girls have improved, Goro. I might even seriously consider a look-at meeting for marriage with such a one. Why not this very night? Very well. Tonight, when I return. be 
caught at the council's party tonight, dead or alive, drunk or sober. Hey, the council's giving this party on your account. You know that, don't you? Yeah. What do you mean on my account? Well, he figures if he can keep you cornered, the women ought to be safe for the first night anyhow. <laughs> Listen, when I come around, no woman wants to be safe. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> Where's your nail file? I don't know. Where's your own nail file? Well, mine's packed. Where's yours? Hey, hey, you won't need these glasses. You're going to be close to everything. Will you put that down and get out of my way? <laughs> Pinky, look. What? Let's you and I duck this council's party tonight, and I'll show you the site. And no tourist stuff either. What do you say? You think we can get away with it? Why, sure. Well, it looks as if the council will have to get along without us. <laughs> now you're saying something. Good gag. I'll take this. You never can tell how hot it might get around here. How much is it? Huh? No? <laughs> it's too much. Well, there you are. All I need now is a mama and a canoe. Hey, rickshaw! Come on. Uh, taxi? Lieutenant Well, how do you do? I'm Sharp. This is the American Consul. Oh, how do you do, sir? <laughs> this is my friend, Lieutenant Barton, sir. Yeah, how, how are you? you? Hi, hiya. Weren't you in these waters a year or so ago? Yeah, I guess I was at that. Uh, I thought I remembered you. Yeah, I rather hoped you wouldn't. He had to get out of bed to get me out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> I knew your father pretty well, Pinkerton. You look exactly like him. Well, he often spoke about you, sir. <laughs> you planning to come to the party tonight? Why, of course, sir. Oh, sure, we wouldn't miss it for anything. Uh -huh. Well, we'll see. <laughs> well, goodbye, gentlemen. Yeah, goodbye, goodbye. goodbye. We'll goodbye. see you. Goodbye. <laughs> you mug, you would have to look like your old man. Come on. <laughs> what I have done with her. She should attract the husband as easily as honey attracts a fly. Her appearance is indeed most gratifying, Suzuki. If her conduct approaches the same high level, the Amadori will undoubtedly wish to arrange an immediate marriage. I shall endeavor to do nothing which may prove disappointing. The maid will now take you to the Rose Room. You will wait there for Yamadori. So you're going to be married. That is as the gods may decree. It is undoubtedly what you should try for. A little mouse like you would never make a success as a geisha. If you were an example of a geisha, to be unsuccessful would be no calamity. If I were not a successful geisha, I would not be wearing these. Display is vulgar. If I have any judgment, the men who gave them to you may consider themselves swindled. Come. Here you are, buy yourself a horse. Oh. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. You have to anchor the gunboats here. The Willow Room. Two officers. Well, well, greetings, greetings. Sweetheart. Welcome, Excellency. Yeah, the same to you. Y you better get used to this. How are you? Uh, what do your Excellencies desire? Mm, music. Yeah, and girls. Yeah, and, uh, dancing. Yeah, and girls. Yeah, and, uh, um, girls. How many? Well, one's enough for me. Yeah, let me have three. 
say. What do you want three for? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. <clears throat> Madam Peach Blossom for the big lieutenant. Also bamboo shoots, honeybee, and spring grain for the little ambitious one. Oh, thank you. I trust you will find our modest entertainment acceptable. Oh, you must come over and see us sometime.
Say, hey, don't be scared. I won't bite you. <laughs> Thank you, most honorable sir. Say, I didn't know you spoke English. As exalted American officer, honorable intention for return to tea house. At this moment, all my honorable intentions are getting sort of weak in the knees. How too bad. Weakness of me, very uncomforting. You've no idea. Perhaps I return to tea house for other assistance. Oh, no, no, no. You see, I'd rather not be left alone when I have an attack like this. Oh. What then is to be done? Generally, the best thing to do is walk it off. You don't mind if I use you to lean on. to be such service. I call you. Churchill San is my name. Churchill San? <laughs> That's cute. What does it mean? How you call in America? Flying butter. Flying butter? <laughs> no, you mean butterfly. Yes, yes, butterfly. That's what I say. What's your name, please? Mr. B. F. Pinkerton. Mr. B. F. Pinkerton. Oh, that's a very high-sounding name. This... You, Commander... Honorable United States Fleet? Commander? Oh, much more important than that. <laughs> I'm the whole works. Oh. With a little help from the President, I practically run the United States. I'm a lieutenant. Wait a minute. You mustn't do that. What? What wrong, please? Well, well, it's not an American custom. What is American custom, please? Understand. That's very interesting custom. <laughs> You're sweet. Hey, Pinky, are you in there? Huh? Huh? Oh, hello, hello, stranger. Come on in and join us. Thank you, no. I am here on business. <laughs> yeah, monkey business, I'll bet you. <laughs> the American humor is of remarkable construction. Well, wait a minute, I'll explain it to you. Come with me, I'll need your support. Uh, yeah, yeah, look, here, here, here's an easy one. <clears throat> Olsen and Greta had been married about five years, see? And <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, wait, wait, you don't know the answer yet. <clears throat> They've been married about five years, see? So one night, one night, Greta said to Olsen, she said, Oli? Where is she? Is this the way to treat a man of dignity, of culture? A most devastating accident, Your Excellency. A splinter maliciously embedded itself in her dainty hand and... The handsome officer who took her into the garden has probably removed it by now. So, I might have known. But I did not know she was in the garden, Excellency. I will go for her at once. I shall never enter these doors again. 
I find you a hundred yen. Uh, you let him sue you, baby. I know the judge. <clears throat> Come. Chocho, sir! Oh, I forgot. Butterfly. Shameless one. Your first night here and you run to meet strange man without consulting me. I couldn't help it. He was taken very ill. You make me lose much money. I will send you back to your mother. Your venerable grandfather will die of shame. Hey, what's all the shouting for? This miserable female had chance to make fine marriage and she spoiled it with you. Doesn't take much to spoil a marriage around here, does it? Yamadori, my best, my wealthiest client. What a commission I would have made on her marriage. And now it is lost. Go. What's the matter, Pinky? Wait in here. Out. You're unnecessary. Madame Goro's patience is as great as your stupidity. Maybe she will teach you the etiquette of geisha. Look here, Goro. I want to engage her for myself for the evening. That is not possible. She not ordinary geisha. No man permitted alone with her unless he has intention to marry. Yeah, hey, I'll say she's a honey. If it weren't that I disappoint a lot of other girls, I'd marry her myself. What do you mean, marry? Well, you know, but, uh, marry. What's the matter, don't you savvy? No. <laughs> Acquaint this guy with the facts of life, will you? To marry, that very usual arrangement. Uh, not with me, it isn't. No, nah, no, nah, you don't catch on. Marriage doesn't mean the same thing to these people that it does to us. What makes it so different? What? Well, all you have to do out here is to sign a marriage contract with the girl's parents, and that's that. Yes, contract most necessary. Yeah, what about when we up anchor? Well, you just leave, that's all. And when you do, the girl is considered divorced. Well, that's pretty tough on the girl, isn't it? <laughs> no. No, not at all. A marriage broker like Goro here gets her a new husband before the old one is halfway down the front steps. My list of wives always popular. Especially beautiful, high-class girl like Chocho san Soon can you get a contract ready? Very soon. But of course, the family must also consent. Well, talk him into it, Goro. Tell him I'm okay. Yeah, he's a good old banana. He comes from a grand bunch. I make all arrangements. I also get house for you. But it will cost you much money to buy a geisha contract I now have with her. And I must pay considerable sum to her exalted family. All right, that's not important. Chocho Sam, you've got yourself a husband after all. Thank you. I tried hard to make very fine wife. Mr. Lieutenant B. F. Pickerton, the whole work. Well, what is this? Those are just a few of your new relatives. Isn't she lovely? Hey, hey, hold your honorable horses. <laughs> well, you can't even talk to her till after the San San Kudo. San San Kudo? Yeah, that's the marriage ceremony. That's equivalent to saying I do. Only over in this place, they say it with three cups of sake under their belt instead of a scuttle of champagne.
Well, down the hatch. Are they going to stay here all night? Yes, I think so. They are very pleased to be here. Hmm. Will you excuse me a minute? Well, well, after all these years, you haven't changed a bit. Come over here, Bob. Listen. Do me a favor, will you? Get these honorable relatives out of here. Get them out of here where they belong here. What, what'll I tell them? I don't care. Tell them anything when you get them out of here. I feel about as private as a monkey in the zoo. <laughs> you leave it to me, monkey. Well, uh, good night and thanks awfully. Goddess of peace and mercy, please have some effect upon my so beautiful and so peculiar husband. <laughs> oh. Be merciful, Goddess. She make you come back. Well, she didn't have much of a job on her hands. We don't know how hard you are to stay away from Churchill's hands. I'm so glad. I played you angry with me. And go away. You are a strange little person. If only I make speech in my own language, I could tell you exactly what in my heart. Now, now, Church of Sam. Please don't. Everything's all right. I thank you so much. Mr. Lieutenant B.F. Pickerton. Your husband. My husband. Yes, and how about giving your husband a hug? Hug? Don't they ever hug in Japan? Look, when a wife sees her husband after a long absence, what's the first thing she does? Oh, no, 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 darling. You must never do that to me again. This is a hug. Hug. Do you like it? It was pleasant. And the next thing is a kiss. Oh, I know that. Oh, no. I don't mean that. You funny little darling. Don't you know what a kiss is? Kiss? Before kiss. I love you. Now I know I love you for always.
Naughty Miss Massachusetts. Bad Mr. Connecticut Cut. Even if you very special present for Mr. B.F. Pickerton, you know very well no one allowed to in that chair except him. My honorable husband, the old works. Their belly become very large. It is the excellent American food. It's more likely those four goldfish that once inhabit this bowl. Please not to speak in such Japanese manner. You must try to talk my honorable husband kind of English. Okay. I go hoopy in big way. Hold everything. You talk very foul, Suzuki. My husband say American house filled with laughter all the time. You must laugh, Suzuki. <laughs> That's great improvement. So many bell I lose count. Must be very late. Hurry, Suzuki, here it comes. My flower of joy. He's very happy tonight. He's singing very loud. You have created a <laughs> He makes big strides, so. He must have very big presents for his wife, I think. Why are you wait, Suzuki? I have nothing better to do. You are Go! Recalling the day when we first kissed. <laughs> well, how's everything? Everything okay. <laughs> How are you, everything? Couldn't be better. That really strange look, Mr. B.S. Pickerton. Where you get him all of a sudden? Oh, there, there. Mm. That's my shore leave. Shore leave? Certainly. Oh, yes, yes, yes. If I don't have one of those, I can't get off the ship to see my Jojo Sand. Then why I never noticed him before? Well, as a rule, I leave it down on the dock in a pail of ice water. What for this ice water? Well, you see, a shore leave is a very delicate animal, huh? It's sort of a cross between an oyster and a land shark. And if he doesn't get his bucket of ice water every day, he's had to get annoyed and bite holes in your pocket. Oh! He sound like very destructive creatures. May I see him, please? Sure, go ahead. Oh. You make big joke of me like always. So many beautiful presents you always bring me. I wonder where my pipe cleaners are. Oh, Suzuki use them 
to wire Reverend Grandmother's hair for a funeral party. So sorry. I'm a very bad housekeeper. All right, there's an extra package in the top drawer of my trunk. May I get? Here we are. Thank you very much, Jojo Sam. She's very beautiful, that American lady. Oh, oh, I guess she passed in the crowd. She's some lady you know very well. Sure, sure. We've known each other for years. She loves you very much, perhaps. Oh, of course not. Say. Over there? That just says lots of luck. Oh. But maybe you very much in love with her. room in my heart for anyone but Madame Butterfly. Hello, Dolly. Hello, beautiful. I'm so glad to see you, Honorable Lieutenant Bach. Well, of course you are. All women are. <clears throat> I'm nature in the raw. <laughs> nature, very wonderful sometimes. Yeah, oh, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I go tell Suzuki, bring drink in hustle. Yeah, well, well, your, your English has improved. Oh, yes. I now speak like Richard Park Avenue lady. Talk very fast. Saying first word coming up in head. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about that? She's as happy as though she didn't know you'd be gone by tomorrow morning. Well, as a matter of fact, I hadn't told her yet, Bob. What? I didn't have the heart. Oh, I couldn't spoil her last evening. I understand. Make mine a strong one, Butterfly. I'll be right back. Be with you in a moment, Bob. When sufficient is poured, please speak word with stop poet. Yeah, whoa! <laughs> Excessively sappy served. Oh, thanks. Shrine looks much better that way, don't you think? What did you change it for, Jojo Sam? I don't like old gods so much no more. I like new gods of my honorable husband. 
What's he been telling you about his God? Oh, very nice thing. His God do not like divorce. He say marriage made in heaven. He say continue to be married till death do us part. Mm -hmm. Most people seem to forget that part of it. They do. How that is stupid. That part I never forget. Chocho Zan, there's one thing your husband has forgotten to tell you. Butterfly. Well, how about paying a little attention to me? <laughs> when he say pay attention like that, it means he's very hungry. I go talk to Zuki, make great speed. Stay upon dinner. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's go to the hotel tonight for dinner. What do you say? Oh, I don't know, Bud. Yeah, what do you say, Chocho Zan? They make swell cocktails. American wife. Okay. <laughs> Suzuki! Suzuki! Quick! Quick! <laughs> Boy, I wouldn't be in your shoes tonight for a million dollars. a break for you fellas, hasn't it? <laughs> Why don't you come over and join our party? No, thanks. Well, it's nice to have seen you, Commander. Oh, I get you. Last evening together before we shove off, eh? Shove off? That's no word to me. A banker get going. Back to the good old USA. Oh. I understand. Thank you very much. Same as always, please. All right. Then you 
not go back to that girl. The girl in the picture. Of course not. You do love me. Not much. Just a little. You are the sweetest thing on earth. Then maybe you come back to me. Of course. Sure. Surest thing you know. Oh. I'm so happy you say that. See? I smile now. When you come back. Oh, I don't know. Oh. In the spring, maybe. When the robins nest again? Yes, that's it. When the robins nest again. Goodbye, Butterfly. beautiful bird. like that. <laughs> then he says, what's your name? And I say, we call him Trouble now. We wait till you come back to call him Joy. Now what do you think of that? <laughs> that sounds like very Japanese reply to me. If so, you get bounced right out from here. No one allowed to speak anything but United States language in this house. <laughs> oh, look, dear. How odd. Just think of a robin building his nest in the heart of New York. Now spring is really here. Wrong, ben. Oh, nothing. There must be something. You know, ever since you've come back from Japan, you're different somehow. Different how? I don't know. Except that ever since we've been kids, we've always told each other everything. But now, for the first time, there's something you'd rather not tell me. That makes me afraid. Well, there's nothing for you to be afraid of, dear. <laughs> it's silly of me, I suppose. But I do love you, Ben. You know that, don't you? Enough so that I could tell you something that might hurt you. As long as you don't say you stop loving me. Oh, uh, nothing like that. Just something I think you ought to know about. Daughter of my son, this cannot go on. 
It is our wish that you make an immediate marriage with a noble Yamadori. Most venerable grandfather, your wish greatly respects are myself. But how I marry one man when I still marry two others? He has deserted you. Therefore, you are divorced. No, no. You must understand. In this United States, husbands not get divorced from wife like here by saying, I go. You go walk yourself back to Paris. What can a woman know about such matters? I have all this explained to me by my husband. The Honorable Lieutenant B.F. Pickerton. He say, no one gets divorced in the United States except he stand before judge for two, three, four, seven years. Very tired. You think it's reasonable my husband go to all this trouble? You were married under the laws of our country. These things do not apply to you. But he say, continue to be married till death do us part. If only for the sake of your child, you should do as we request. His honorable father be most angry if he not find us here when he come back. Bring down the wrath of the gods upon your own head if you will, but save your son this misery. We love him, and he should be brought up as befits the samurai. Give him to us. No, no, I cannot. This his child. Everything in this house belongs to him. His money. His son. His God. And me too. We all belong to him. You have forsaken the traditions of your country. You have forsaken your ancestors and your gods. You have dishonored our name. From now on, the door of my house is forever closed against you. From now on, your mother has no daughter. Mama Sam. Now we got nobody in the whole world except him. So he must come back. Robin played trick on us. Maybe United States Robin not so domestic and industrious. I don't know. Pop, pop, come soon. <laughs> I go make visit to that very wise American council. Get me ready. to see you, says her name is Mrs. B.F. Pinkerton. Mrs. Pinkerton? Well, that's funny. I thought she was in San Francisco. The sure is. Good night. Good night? Oh, excuse, please. A little bit rattled, I think. I mean, good morning, I expect. Hmm. What did you say your name was? Me? Oh, I, Mrs. Honorable Lieutenant Benjamin Franklin Pickerton. Oh, I see. Very well acquainted with him, I expect. Yes, I expect I am. I got to ask you a very important something, please. Oh, all right, go ahead. You know all about birds? Birds? <laughs> well, I guess I know something about them. 
Oh, that, that's what I think. That's why your country sends you here. Because you know everything. Oh, not everything. But you know about Robin. Just a little bit of Robin. I guess so. What is it you want to know about? How often do these robins make nests in your United States? Why? I think not so much as here. Maybe only every three, four years, perhaps. What makes you think that? He say he come back to me when robin nest again. Japanese robin nest two, three times since then. And he not come back yet. What do you think? Now that I remember it, in the United States, the robins only nest every three years. Oh, I'm so glad you say that. All right now? Oh, yes. Thank you. I'm very much all right now. You, the most best nice man in all world. Best nice man, except? Except. I think now I go pray. Respectfully request my husband God to remind him to come back soon. It's a good idea. Mr. B.F. Pickerton God, very powerful, very nice. But I think perhaps he not understand my language so well. Maybe it's safer if I pray to God of my ancestors. That's right. This radiogram, please. Lieutenant B.F. Pinkerton, United States Fleet, off Yokohama. See me at once upon arrival. Hotoka-sama, and listen, while I respectfully request thee to make those American robins keep their schedule. Than yesterday. 
This is all that is left. Oh, how we have wasted his beautiful money. Well, we'd be very American. Spend everything. Oh, it's good to see you, dear. You know, I beat you by two days. Yeah, yeah. I, I was on that boat, too. <laughs> Hello, Bart. How are you? Okay, okay. Isn't this exciting? Oh, so exciting? <laughs> I guess you haven't heard that the American consul is giving one of those first night parties of his. Oh, say, that's what his radiogram must have been about. Yeah, that was it. And don't you two try to back out of it because he's short on wives. Yeah, well, he'll have to go short tonight as far as I'm concerned. I'll see him tomorrow. See you off the hotel, Bart. All right. Goodbye, Bart. All right. Very much nice American lady. Well, well. Hello, old girl. I wondered what had become of you. what his father always said. 100% American. <laughs> yes, yes. Very soon now. Oh, I tell you what. We play big joke on Honorable Lieutenant B.F. Pickerton. So soon we see him come, you take baby, hide him in the next room. Then when I clap, so, you bring him out like magician, bring rabbit out from heart. Six bells. That means he comes very quick now. Come, Suzuki. will be here. Very soon now. No use to wait any longer. No use to wait. 
I'll wait for always. He forget you. He always forget. Suzuki, do not dare to speak like that. I know he will come. He not forget. He not forget. He will come. And Sharpless says she's waited for me all these years and never married again. Don't feel so badly about it, dear. It isn't your fault. I wish I could think that. It's pretty much of a mess. It'll all be cleared up as soon as you see her and have a talk with her. I hope so. You don't mind my going to see her, do you, dear? I should mind very much if you didn't. I wonder... I wonder if you'd come along with me. It might be easier if I felt you were nearby. Of course I'll come, darling. Not stay? Oh, you make big joke with me like always. Maybe you forget your shore leave too. Yes? I'm not joking, Toto San. Is it because your ship, she sailed right away again? You must go? If so, I will be sorry, of course. But I wait a little longer. Till you come back to stay for always. I... I'm never coming back, Jojo Sam. Never come back? No. Well, what have I done? Oh, don't, Butterfly, please don't. wait. They told me you'd forget and go back to your own people. I understand now.
I beg pardon. I make such foolish mistakes. I'm so sorry. Um, no need to be sorry. On contrary, I wish you be excessively happy with your wife. Isn't there anything I can do, Cho Cho San? Oh, no. Thank you very much. If you excuse me, I go inside now. Please to excuse me, little mistress. <laughs> but I hear silence for so long. I am afraid. He's gone to the field. But he will come back. Not need wait anymore for him to come back. He gone for always. He gone for always. With the lady in the picture. He go back to her. She his wife now. <laughs> oh, little man. Little man. You wait so long to see your honorable father. And when he come, I not even tell him about you. Maybe I wrong. But I think you never can be joy to him now. Only trouble. Your papa is so fine, so beautiful man. We want he should be happy for always. Is it not so, my son? So please forgive if I disappoint you very much and not introduce you to your illustrious father. <laughs> Look how his little hands grasp your father's sword. Already he is samurai. It is better so, perhaps. Better for him now. Better for you, always. May you hold this sword proudly when you are a man. May the law of the samurai be written in your heart. Take the child to my grandfather's house. He shall be brought up in the way of his ancestors. But you cannot stay here alone. I will follow soon. Tell my grandfather 
I remain only long enough to pray to the goddess Karen that she may purify my heart. I will tell him. Suzuki, I'm so sorry I take you away from happy Geisha house. I only make you sad. May the God smile on you, my son. Go now. Wash me clean of all my impurity, O Connor, as one washes away uncleanliness in the river Carmel. You say, Death to us part. I love you for always. <laughs> 